शुक्र गुड मॉर्निंग वर्ल्ड गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग लवली पीपल टुडे इज फ्राइडे इट इज द फोर्थ ऑफ अक्टूबर वी मूव इन टू वीक्स टू वीक्स एंड आई एम बेकिंग अप अ स्टॉर्म दीज आर कुकीज आई एम टेस्टिंग आउट कुकी रेसिपीज आई गोन हैव वन दीज फॉर कॉफी नाउ एंड टुडे आई गोन टेक यू थ्रू अ फुल डे ऑफ ईटिंग हॉट आई ईट इन अ डे I have some carrot cake muffins in the oven. I've just been baking up a storm. So I do a lot of my baking in the morning. It's where I get my ideas all fresh and nice. So I'm all in black, like my heart and my soul. We have puppies, we have cookies, all is good with the world. We went to see Venom last night. If you haven't seen it, it's really good. It's like action, adventure, superhero kind of thing. But it's really good. Tom Hardy. Can't go wrong. So first things first in the morning I like to get through a lot of water. We've got some collagen here ready for my collagen coffee. I take two of these dim so that's them two and they are like an estrogen binder so it helps reduce the appearance of cellulite. Then I've got some selenium so that's that one there. And the selenium is good for skin, hair, nails and then some zinc again good for repair of cells. Let's start on there. It's a little bit bigger. I'm going to take all these with some water and then get my collagen decaf coffee into me. So I've got my collagen coffee, one of my cookies. So I'm still at the experimental stage. Mm. It's good. It's almost scone-like. I like that. And my collagen coffee, I have Well, 20 25 ml of this coconut almond milk. I love it. So that is my first like mini meal and it's just after 11. I've been up since 8, but I've just been kind of doing stuff. We yeah, had movers come to a quote for moving the house. So, you can see how much that costs. So it's 2 p.m. and I'm only just now having my oats. So today I'm having some peanut butter jelly oats. Yeah. Well, it's baked peanut butter and jelly. Lex's mom and sister are here. They sampled some of my cookies and I think I still have to tweak that recipe. And then we also have some carrot cake muffins which are up on my cooking channel if you want to go check it out. And now it's time for this. For the fake jelly, we have some frozen blueberries and I just add a little squirt of sweetener into it. Put it in the microwave for a minute and it makes this kind of like jam-like substance. And then this is PB2 with water added and then my protein oats. And I'm going to devour this now and then hit the gym. Coffee o'clock. Before you ask, these cups, I get them on Amazon. They're like heart shape, glass cups. Just search that Amazon, eBay. They'll eventually come. I think they come from China. I'm just going to get some more work done. Lex is bringing my car into its service, so I'm going to go to the gym a little bit later. But I am doing the workout that I did last week in the last episode. So if you haven't watched that, you want to see what my workout is, go and watch that now. And then come back to this episode and continue watching, and then you'll know what I did in the gym. Because I'm not going to repeat it because it's the same exercises. So I'm just having some lunch and I have some chicken that I prepped last night. I'm kind of nibbling on. And I'm going to have that in one of the lavash pitas with some rocket because help. And some eat lean cheese. I get my pitas and my chicken and my cheese all from muscle food and mm, yum. I'm going to heat up this chicken. Whatever's left of it. Add it to my pita. Just a bit of a light lunch. Keep me going until dinner. So here's my super healthy chicken pita. Packed full of green, which means health. And I've got some lighter than light mayo in there as well. Just gotten a surprise delivery through from Muscle Food of these bit bakes. So if you are not as skilled in the kitchen as I am at making treats and everything, fit treats that can fit into your macros, these bad boys are the perfect option. They have like loads of different flavors and they're proper little cakey treats. So this one here, cookies and cream. 
they come in these little packages and they're like bite-sized treats so sometimes it's all about the serving size because it's like portion control these are like super chocolatey tastes like little brownie bites of oreo goodness and for the whole pack for four of them it's less than five grams of fat 22 grams of carbs and 13 grams of protein and they're just perfect little snacks keep them in the fridge and then if you're going out and about and you don't want to be tempted by all the treats and starbucks just bring your own perfect so we also have these ones these are the carrot cake ones and again there's four little portions in the package you can see it has the carrot cake with cream cheese filling yummy 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 four for in your tummy and it is five grams of fat 31 grams of carbs so a little bit higher on carbs than these ones but nine grams of polyols so if you're like me and you only log your net carbs that's like 22 grams 22 grams carbs and five grams of protein so not as high in protein but still fit healthy snack for on the go haven't tried the blueberry ones yet so these are blueberry chia muffins again super healthy with the chia super healthy with your blueberries with antioxidants in them they're only three grams of fat for a whole pack again i think it's four portions yeah most of them are four portions i think some of them are five portions but these are four portions so less fat only three grams of fat 24 grams of carbs and 9.9 so 10 grams of protein in these ones so these are a little bit higher in protein then we got the lemon drizzle which alex loves and he devoured again four portions and you can see they have the little drizzle little cake bites these are only 2.2 grams of fat 23 grams of carbs and 10 grams of protein chocolatey goodness in the sweet potato brownie and um, five grams fat 26 grams carbs and only four grams protein so not exactly a protein snack per se and these have four i think these are five portions yeah there's five portions in these and again it's little little bites of heaven these are like ooey gooey mmm so good now let's be realistic you're not going to eat just one you're going to eat the whole pack so at the start of the day you bring this with you in your handbag you have it logged in your fitness pal you're not going to forget about it it's already in there and then you can enjoy them as you go about your business and these are all available from muscle food right now so you can add these to your chicken and whatever else you have from muscle food yummy I'm gonna go and do some cardio just on my step or inside nothing too strenuous I've been taking it pretty easy the past two weeks since I had my colposcopy but today I had some very good news through I got a call from the doctor in the colposcopy clinic and he has given me the all clear yay so I am cancer free they have removed all of the abnormal cells and now I can go about my life like normal. I would just have to get some more regular screening done every six months as opposed to every couple of years. But, whew, it was such a weight off my chest. I didn't realize how stressed I was getting internally from it, but I feel so much better now. And now we just have the stress of moving house, but it's excitement stress because we cannot wait to move. We are moving in two weeks. And two days and today we've been shopping around for movers to help us move this massive big house to another big house and the doggies well that's finding a new place to walk roxy hi <laughs> it's after 4 p.m and i'm finished my cardio and i'm just finishing editing up a video for the Gymshark vlog, my pumpkin pie recipe, which is the 10th of October. I've opted for some snazzy hair bands to keep the fringe back, because I'm done with it. And I'm going to have a coffee and one of these cookies. I definitely have to keep working on this recipe, so I'm gonna have cookies coming out of my eyeballs. So it's after 7 p.m. I'm in from the gym. I spent the afternoon editing my video and I got a quick workout in it. It was not the best workout in the world. I did not feel motivated. I did not want to go because normally I train in the morning and if I don't train by about 3 p.m. I just, my workout, it just sucks. And when I got back in, Lex said, did you have a good workout? And I was like, no, it was shit. It, it just sucked. It was the same workout that I did last week, but it just, it didn't feel good and 
I don't know I haven't been very motivated lately but now that I've gotten the all clear hopefully it's onwards and upwards I'll be in a new gym soon new house new kitchen new everything and hopefully I'll feel a lot more motivated for my diet and the gym and everything because everything has just sucked lately it sucked so hopefully it's turning into a positive now moving forward but I just wanted to show you my dinner because it's a full day of eating I ate two more of my cookies I think I already showed you that so here is my dinner I've got some butternut squash fries you can get these in Asda or in Sainsbury's and I've got a chicken burger that I've been working on a recipe and it's like a cheesy Mexican burger it's super spicy and it's packed full of cheese and then there's like a jalapeno mayo on top and it's delicious and Hopefully I will get that up on the Gymshark blog soon because it is so tasty. Lex's is a little bit fattier. He's got like full fat cheddar cheese on his and he's got full fat cheese in the middle and he doesn't want any butternut squash fries. So, oh well, his loss. So we're gonna go eat these burgers now. It's dinner time, I'm hungry. I'll get back to you soon. Bye bye YouTube. Bye bye. Finishing off my macros for the day with Kavarg vanilla yogurt topped with some granola and some peanut butter to get the fats in. That's it. That's my day. I hope you enjoyed the video. Tune in next time when hopefully I'll be doing something a little bit more exciting. Cause if I only had a hundred fans, I'd take them all to dinner, talk about the people that we used to be. If I had a hundred fans, I'd buy all the parents, ain't nobody paying, I'd be buying the drinks. And we would party, and we would dance, and we would throw up all them hands until they turn to clouds. Yeah, I got you now, if I only had a hundred fans. Life's too short to be an asshole.